Okay, so we've finished whitening shampoo on Virgil. It's been rubbed in, it's sat for about 10 minutes, and now it's been rushed, rinsed off. So it's time to put on the conditioner. Again, this is a very personal choice, depending on what you're doing with your dogs, how you want them to look, how you want them to feel. Virgil's show career is long since over, so I do whiten, do condition his whites quite heavily. Makes them a lot easier to work. They don't break as much, they brush much nicer, more easily. And it actually helps them stay a bit cleaner, I think. Nothing special about doing this. Again, it's exactly what we did with the regular shampoo and the whitening shampoo. Birch, he's getting a little bit tired. <laughs> he figures he's had enough, and don't blame him. But he's also good, he knows what the deal is, so he won't get too much of a problem about it. Condition the face, especially the beard, quite heavily because he gets a lot of food in there. It tends to dry and break. So if it's got a good conditioning, that helps to reduce those problems. And a lot of these things are very specific to your dog. Um, what Vir Virgil does or the problems he has may not be common in another line. And they're not necessarily common to Don, which is his daughter. Don, Virgie, come on, son. The grizzles I will condition. Nowhere near as much as the whites. So out of this bottle, I probably use, will use about half of it on the whites, maybe a quarter on the grizzle. So I'll have a little bit left over. Come on, Virgil, good boy. Good boy, Virgil Tiberius. get their feet a little bit heavier. Helps them keep them nodding in the dirt. The coats will never get silky, even the whites won't get silky. It's just innate to the breed. No matter what I do, he's never going to have the same texture as my Afghans do, which is good. Good boy, George. Alright, I didn't get your bum bums. Gotta do a big turn so I can get your bum. Come on, big turn. Big turn, Virgil. Good boy, come on. Bring your bum bums around. Good boy. Aim being careful to avoid the anus itself. Done. A couple more across the top. And much like we did during the initial wet down, we'll put a bit of water on him to get this to go through the coat. Big turn, Bert. Come on, big turn. Good boy, Virgil. I'll put some extra into the elbows. You should get both of them from one side if you're careful. And 
and under the belly. And inside the back legs, same sort of deal. And any time you're stroking them down in the direction of the hair, get your hand fully away, come back up. And that should probably be enough sh conditioner on him. And back to working it through. Good up, son. Good boy. Good Virgil. And we'll just go through like we did all the other stages. Work it through and then we'll give it about 10 minutes after it's worked through to sit and do its job. To this point we haven't been extremely fastidious about rinsing out the shampoo. We've got the bulk of it out. There may still be tiny little bits around, little pockets of shampoo in the coat. I'm not going to worry about it. It doesn't affect the conditioners, at least I haven't found it does. When we're finished working this through and giving it its 10 minutes, we will be very fastidious about rinsing it all out. If it doesn't come out, you can have a nightmare drying the dog. It's basically a grease and it will get all over the coat and it will keep the moisture on it. But at this point, it's probably about five to ten minutes of so massaging it through his coat, and then the ten minutes to work. Okay.